Hello everyone, SDI here, and I'm back with Dark Souls. Now, last episode we beaten uh, Ornstein's mob. Now, it's been a tough fight if I remember correctly, and we had to use the Silver Knight armor. Well, goodbye, Silver Knight armor. You did uh, do us well. Now, we're gonna go back with uh, Boulder. I think we can do a fast. Fuck no! <laughs> no fast roll for me. Wow. Well, then, I uh, guess we're gonna stick with the silver knight if we got we got fast roll with the whole armor set full boulder well that makes no sense let's just keep it the silver now of course you know there's some arguments to me that silver is not as strong as uh, you know steel iron but uh, i guess in this game silver is stronger than iron of course you can make the wait why why did i do this right now okay guys mistakes were made Oh, uh, let's go back up. <laughs> oh, no oh, mistake. And uh, we're now doing the second. Uh, let's call it the second part of the game, the late game, if you want to. Where we're gonna hunt uh, huge, uh, huge uh, souls, like the of uh, the primeval uh, souls of the primeval lords. And we're gonna start off in uh, Anorlando now. New Lando ruins. Sorry. Why New Lando ruins? Well, because we want to join the Dark Raves. Well, I'm not gonna join. I'm just gonna hear him talk because we want to do the Dark Lord ending, which, in my opinion, is kind of a better ending than the other one, which I explained is basically Gwendolyn wants you to, which you know, light yourself on fire like Gwyn did. We don't want that, we don't want to stop progress, we want to continue it, that's why it's progress. So we're gonna continue on with the Dark Age. Which is also quite, you know, preferably named for the Middle Ages in our history. Dark Ages. So, uh, New London Ruins, we gonna need some transient curses, which we're gonna get immediately when we enter. So that's kinda good, because you do need them. And another thing is... Ooh, hoo, hoo. This is gonna be complicated, honestly, and that's why we're gonna go with full hell. Uh, I advise you guys do this with full hell, okay? Do this with full hell. You don't need the dodge. You don't need anything except full hell right now. You're gonna be heavy as fuck. You're gonna roll as fuck, but you need full hell. Why am I telling this? I'm playing a game of uh, I, I'm playing a I, I'm doing a playthrough uh, where I don't level up any HP. I level up uh, endurance and I don't just endurance and nothing else. I I touch enough dexterity for or you know, strength depending on the weapon I want to use. I'm using if you're wondering, I'm using using a silver knight uh, straight sword. And uh, let me tell you something. Yes, I can fast roll with Cavill. But um, when you don't have that much HP, hell is no no use because you know they're gonna kill you before you can actually you know make use of that bulking hulk of armor. But that does not matter right now. What matters now is we do have a lot of HP and we have hells. It's hell time, baby. Also, we're gonna explore uh, New London Ruins. We're gonna explore. I n actually never explored New London Ruins before. I can hit that right now and be like, I'm fucking proud of it because I never explored it. Because, um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, with these games, I'm kind of uh, not afraid, but scared to die when I have a lot of souls because death is such a big meaning in these games. No, in these games, yeah. And I have to tell you something, I was scared, I guess I was scared, but you know, when you go in with a lot of uh, a lot of endurance and no one can fuck with you because hello you wear fucking heavy armor and you have a quick striking weapon, you kind of feel safe, uh, really safe indeed, and that's why I did not, you know, bother with anything, I can just do like this, like go hi, hi girls. I do, not, I do not understand why all ghosts are girls, honestly. That kind of doesn't make any bloody sense, but... I guess the point can be made, like, because of, you know, sexism in... Uh, in the Middle Ages and, the, you know, usual fantasy world areas. 
uh, all the men were turned into dark raves while all the women were killed, women and children. Uh, there can be, you know, there is an argument to be made there. But honestly, I don't think it's like that. I think it's just like resources, like they didn't want to spend too much resources on resources on these on this part because I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know what to do. Everything is possible, honestly. And I will not bl uh, blame them because the game is beautiful. And if they did spend money on uh, on something different rather than uh, rather than Anorlando, not Anorlando, New Lando ruins. I'll be, you know, quite happy. The, the, the area is quite depressing, honestly. Now, what you've seen right now is a special... Well, what you just witnessed is a special execution by these uh, ghosts. Luckily, it does zero to no damage to us, and we can just basically say... I'm sorry. I'm Havel. Okay, I'm fucking Havel. I have so much poise, so much armor. That Dark Souls 2 is jealous. Yep, I'm calling out. I'm calling out Dark Souls for its shitty armor and shitty poise. Because let's all be honest, it's fucking bullshit. Come on, guys, really? Havel in Dark Souls 2, you get staggered. Fucking Havel. That makes no fucking sense. That's the whole fucking point of armor. You do not want to get staggered, you know, you pick up an easy, you know, uh, a light blade, a quick striking blade, you get a lot of stamina, and you go full Havel. What's gonna happen? You're gonna clean up the whole fucking room. You're gonna witness it right now. Of course, this is not a slow tri striking weapon, but you're gonna witness it me cleaning up this whole fucking room, and I'm gonna heal right now without any fucking problems. There you go. Clean up. Did someone call the Ghostbusters? Yep. There you go. I even made a ghost, uh, Ghostbuster reference, so yeah. I missed that. Then, I mean, look at this. And I'm half HP. Yes, I healed once, but still. It's fucking Havel. You, nobody can compete with Havel. No one. Except with, uh, I guess, Wolf Ring and Giant Summer could be quite possibly better poised than armor. Than, uh,. No, it's not actually. Wow. Well, that's actually full helvels. I don't use uh, on my character that I do. Uh, that I make. I'm uh, playing for the game. With uh, actually uses. Um, doesn't use the the helmet. So I guess it still could be compared. Like also, what this guy is using is the ghost blade. Not the ghost. I think it's meant, meant to be called the ghost the dagger, and not the ghost blade. It is. Basically, what he's telling us is a uh, ghost seek Ar Artorius. And learn from him the way of abyss walking. Of course, there is no such thing because we created legend. And uh, again, this is if you've played the DLC. I'm sorry I did not say this sooner, but spoiler? Uh, kinda? If I mean, it, the game is already four years old. Five years old, sorry. Give it a fucking break. <laughs> It's already this old. I mean, if, you, I, if I have to say spoiler alert after five years, it's gonna be fucking horrible. But in Dark Souls 3, uh, hmm, there's no spoilers because I don't know anything about the game. I, that's right, I, you know, I've seen one of my favorite YouTubers actually do a, a pre release, an early release uh, gameplay, like the first couple of hours, first hour or something like that. And let me tell you something, I was not happy because. No! Again, I was not happy. I mean, I don't care about the death, honestly. I can make those 17 like, humanities in like 3 seconds. And you're gonna see me do that right now. Because I just need to remove my whole fucking uh, outfit. Yes, I dupe. I'm sorry that I dupe, but I fucking dupe. <laughs> I just found out about it, okay? You can't blame me for not abusing it now that I know about it. Uh, it still doesn't mean I'm not gonna fail. It just means that I'm gonna, you know, do. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Uh, we're gonna do it twice because I'm gonna need. Uh... I'm not gonna join any covenant. I'm just going to go and do this because I kind of do want. 
uh, law of uh, humanity for the chances of discovering new trends and curses. Okay, warp, Valley Shrine. Again, I'm really sorry if, if you are annoyed by me duping, but uh, I love it. I honestly do. Mm -mm, sit down, sit the fuck down. So yeah, uh, when Dark Souls 3 comes out, it's basically gonna be don't spoil the game for me then, because uh, that's not cool. It's not fucking cool. I don't know anything. I have not even watched the fucking trailers for the game. N nothing. I'm basically acting like I acted for Bloodborne until I heard it, that it's for PS4. Then I was like, four days of depression, eating ice cream. It was just sad. I gained 50 pounds. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Not about the ice cream, I'm kidding about uh, the 50 pounds. I didn't get anything. I just ate all that ice cream. But yeah, that's a sad, you know, that's the part where you know, basically Namco Bandai, not Namco Bandai, but uh, from software broke my heart. But I understand, I kind of understand why Sony did what it did, and I, I don't blame them. I mean, you have to be competitive in the, you know, in the console market because um, PC is always there. I'm not going with the whole, you know, PC master race bullshit, I'm going with this. PC is there. You can make whatever console you want. There's always a build that can outrun it. Outperform it. Sorry, not outrun, outperform it. So, you know, you can make the argument of, well, hmm, two bad consoles, I had this PC that I, you know, I paid the same price and I'm outperforming it. Mistakes were made. So, yeah. It is kind of nuts. I'm still angry. Okay, I'm still fucking angry, but I understand it, and uh, it it did make a lot of, it did uh, make a lot of people buy a uh, platform. It did make make it forced a lot of people to buy a PS4. Okay, it forced a lot, of people. and I I I can I can uh, respect that. Of course, it is the best game of 2015, so yeah. Oh. Uh, I know, I know, I haven't talked about the lore of this place, and there's a reason for this. I'm quite, um, I'm quite saddened about this place, but also kind of, it shows where the where the real world, real world, and basically game can be, you know, basically the same. You're not gonna be surprised to see like this kind of happening in almost precisely World War II, but even in World War I, with less, you know, uh, with, with toxic uh, poison basically being thrown from uh, uh, artillery, you know, uh, basically poison shells raining on, on uh, trenches and killing a lot of people with mustard gas and all that. That was quite sad, that was a lot, that, you know, that, that was a lot of casualties. And uh, especially, in the, especially in World War II and, you know, that that time and um, this can really you can really relate to, to basically that period of, of our history to honor London and its tragedy I mean um, uh, how, how does the story go well let's say it like this honor Lando was once a human city it was a replica uh, it was attempted to be a replica of uh, New Lando no oh! New Lando was the rep was tempted to, was attempted to be a replica of Anor Lando, but it, it is you know going to be a human city ruled by four uh, four kings four monarchs. And the Dark Seeker cave Kai Kai um, the Dark Seeker basically poisoned their hearts if you want to and talked to them about life steal life hunt shit like that. And they're of course being humans, very immediately drawn by the idea of immortality and having the strength of God, such as Gwyn, who actually was not a fucking god, but maybe may, many believe that he was. So, so yeah, 
that's kind of the reason for uh, for uh, for Anolando and its downfall. And you know, of course, Dark Secret Hive Kai gave them uh, gave them the dark hand and taught them the art of life steal of life hunt, and they went mad. But it. they destroyed the whole city basically and the flooders or keepers of New Lando flooded the whole city killing thousands fucking thousands not just men not just women but children old anyone it did not matter who you were you were you were killed basically and that's the sad part of Anor Lando, that something like that happened. And I'm quite sad for Anor don't, don't, you know, don't think I'm not, I'm fucking sad as fuck. It's really sad what happened to them, and I wish it did not, but it did happen, and... Uh, <sighs> um, no one can know the trauma of seeing your closest ones being killed right before your eyes no one and uh, that's okay because I myself don't know that but most you know people who went in World War II like your grand grandparents probably you ask them how you know what was the, what were the effects of seeing the concentration camps and all of that you, you, they're gonna tell you it was, it was probably it was horrible there was there were literally dead bodies piled, you know, in front of the camps because there was not enough place to put them in. You kind of wonder where is the humanity in that? The, well, there is no humanity. That just proves that we really, really hate each other to the point where we're ready to mass, you know, mass extinct, extinct each other. And Anor and New Lando is the proof of that. It's so easy to pull the trigger and kill thousands of people when you're not amongst them. It's so easy to do that when you don't think about the consequences. You just sorry, I have to use this, but go for the kill. It's so easy. Later you can regret, it, of course, but before that, when it's time to you know think about, I have to think uh, the good, of the kind, not have to think for the good of the people. Uh, yeah, well, most of those, well, all the people are dead, and you locked the fucking gates. Yeah, that's right. You you think they they had a chance to escape? Oh no, 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 no! They were all killed. They were basically locked. And can you guess what happened to those dark rays? Not one were hurt. Oh oh, the transient curse men were out. Oh oh. oh. Yeah, I kind of notice like, wait, why does my why does my blade go through it? I didn't actually notice it, but yeah. Yeah, they locked them in. Anyways, um, I talked about the four kings possibly being the king, you know, kings of Baldur, kings of Veronique, king, uh, kings, king of uh, Art, uh, of, Astra of Astrea. King of um, of uh, what's his what's his place uh, of uh, Katerina or Kingdom of um, Karim or Kingdom of of um, Val no, not Valk is not Kingdom of Kingdom is probably uh, you know what I'm you know what I'm talking about quite possibly isn't. It? Um, am I going to the wrong place? I have a sleeping suspicion I am, honestly. But anyways, we're going down. Why, what are we doing here if you're wondering? Uh, I have no idea, honestly. I don't know why I'm down here, but uh, I am. And let, let me just scout out this. Okay, yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. This is, this is good, honestly. We're gonna drop down here, and this is the town, of, this is the, the Dark Rave town, basically. This is the funky town, and uh, let's say I'm gonna say some good news right now. Some you know some fun news. I have found the armor that I'm going to use 
in uh, till the end of Dark Souls. I found the armor. It's the witch bitch's armor, and I found out how you how we gonna actually get it. I, I was first of all surprised, really, when I finally found out how how I can get the armor, and I was quite happy that I can actually get the armor. And now we're gonna get the armor. Um, how are we gonna get? Well, you're gonna see. You're gonna see. But first of all, we're gonna fight with these guys, these assholes. We'll get. Ooh. Okay, that's. That's a decent amount of damage, honestly. That's okay. That's, I was worried we're gonna do less, but that was actually pretty good. But uh, before we continue on, I, I'm gonna end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. I would really appreciate support. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.